Hi, my name is Sunita Williams. I'm a NASA astronaut. Just an amazing uh, experience for me. It was a long time. I joined the Astronaut Corps in 1998. So it was about eight years before I had the opportunity to go into space. But as soon as I got, as soon as we all got there on STS-116 and were able to just look out the window, see the space station for the first time, those gold solar panels as we were approaching it, I, I was beside myself of how wonderful just the view was. Uh, not to mention I had the opportunity to do a couple spacewalks while I was up there. And just having that visor between you and the, uh, you know, the outside of space was just incredible. And to look and see northern lights as well as our beautiful planet um, and out into space was just just amazing, just incredible. Uh, so you can fly from one end of the lab to, right through the, the node and into the, uh, you know, into the Russian segment through the PMA, and that's just a lot of fun. There's always a constant humming of the, of the pumps in the background and the fans and the ventilation system, so you're always hearing a little buzz. But if you want some quiet, you can go into the quiet of the Cayudas. I think the, the best memory that I have from living on the ISS is the camaraderie of the crewmates up there. Um, every evening we would get together and have dinner around the table in the service module and just share stories with each other about the day. Sometimes we would discuss language and the idiosyncrasies of uh, the different languages. And it was just always fun just to reflect and realize where we were. Well, Gorby is my uh, Jack Russell Terrier. And I got him um, in 2001. So Gorby's my little buddy. Uh, Gorby, I spent a lot of time in Russia training for uh, this mission for the International Space Station. And so, of course, I got to know a lot about Russia. And, of course, one of the distinguished uh, people of the Russian uh, history is Mikhail Gorbachev. I heard about I heard about Gorby sightings. Uh, Heidi uh, Piper was down on Nemo underwater, and they had a big Gorby magnet there. And then uh, one of the gentlemen from the press had written me an email and said, "Hey, uh, I have we have flat Gorby sightings all over the world. He was in Japan, he was in Russia, so he was all over the place. And it was really it was really nice. It was uplifting. It made me laugh uh, every time I got an email from them." I would say the transition to microgravity was a little bit easier. It took me just about 24 hours and then I felt like I was used to it and I loved it. A little clumsy, but I got used to being able to fly around um, pretty quickly thereafter. Uh, coming back to Earth, it probably took a couple days just for the neurovestibular effects to start to wear off. It sort of went off like a light switch with me, but it's a little bit different for everybody. But I could still feel I'm a little bit slower in uh, running than I was before I left, but I heard it's usually a day for day. So it'll probably take me about six months to get back to where I was before I left. That, I definitely see things on Earth a lot different than, uh, than before I, I went. You know, when we were up there, we had the uh, distinct pleasure of being able to look out the window and, and see our beautiful planet and see continents and uh, no borders for countries. And I think that was a huge impression that you, you look down at the planet Earth and it's hard to even imagine two people arguing, never mind fighting down there because it all looks like one that we live on these wonderful continents together. And a second impression I got was looking out the side window at uh, how thin our little atmosphere is that protects us from all the, you know, the dangers of living in space of vacuum and heat and cold and uh, we can't take any of that for granted. Well, I think my parents were a huge inspiration to me. Uh, both of them had, uh, you know, came from not so well-to-do families and, and made it on their own. And uh, both of them have a huge can-do spirit and influenced me to, you know, take chances and, you know, do as well as I can. And John Young was a huge inspiration uh, for me to even apply to the astronaut corps when I, when my test pilot school class met him when we came to a visit to Johnson Space Center. Uh, I'd love to go back to space. I'd love to go to the space station again, again and, uh, as the commander of the space station. I'd love to be part of the crew exploration vehicle and uh, you know, do whatever we need to do for the testing of that as we get ready to go back to the moon and on to Mars.